Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where we will walk you through the functionalities of TechShot Studio. TechShot Studio is designed to make modifications to the LX space, and the LX space is a database where linguistic rules and dictionaries are stored, and how it is determined what entities and links are extracted based on their semantic vector. For the ones who are not familiar with the term semantic vector, a semantic vector gives a meaning to a word. So for the ones who are familiar with i 2 ibase you can compare TextChart Studio to an iBase Designer. iBase Designer is for designing the database template, as is TextChart Studio for configuring the extractions of the entities and the links. TextChart Studio is a web-based solution, which makes it very easy to install. In TextChart Studio, you, you always uh, start off with creating a corpus. In the corpus, you can upload files, or a complete folder that contains files. In this example, we have created a corpus that contains files to investigate a terrorist attack in Brussels. We have uploaded four folders that contain documents in four different languages. So we have French, Swedish, Dutch, and, Eng and English. After processing, we can view these documents to see what entities and links are extracted from them and from there we can adjust the results accordingly. Via the eye icon, located here, we get an overview of the documents that have been processed, and each color represents an entity type that has been extracted. When the document is in a language that you are not familiar with, you have the opportunity to give a gloss translation or give a side-by-side -side translation. What this means is that you get a word-for-word -word translation of the document, but it's not grammatically correct. We can make modifications to the dictionaries from this window, but we can also determine what semantic vector has been assigned to a word or entity. If we take Lundström as an example, we can see based on the red color that this, is, that this regards a person entity. By right-clicking on an entity, we can look it up in lexicon, which means that we can see what semantic vector has been assigned to this part of text. In this case, surname has been assigned. In case we're not happy with this result, we can simply remove the SV or we can find a better suitable semantic vector uh, for this part of text. We can also see what linguistic rules are fired to extract Lundström as a person. If we select his full name, Patrick Lundström, we can show his rule matching details. This will give us an overview of what rule or rules are fired in order to determine that this part of text regards a person. We can fold it open from here, so we get an example of the rule or just an overview of the rule. Or we can double click on the hammer and it will give us an overview of the rule that has fired. All of the linguistic rules in TextChart are written in, in XML. And if we take a look at this rule, we can see it's looking for a semantic vector given name and in combination with the semantic vector surname will extract the part of text as a person entity. So you can, as a user, use TechChart Studio to make modifications to the linguistic rules or add complete new rules. Once modifications have been made to the LX space, you can export it and distribute it along the analysts that are working with unstructured documents. Here we have the option Manage LX Space Files, where we can select this LX Space in particular to export. If you wish to know more about TechShort Studio or other solutions, please reach out to us.